It was in March 12 last year when the nation woke up to the news of Amazulu King Goodwill Zulitini's passing. He died at the age of 72, having been on the throne for close to half a century. His funeral drew mourners from around the world just days after his death. The debate over the royal succession began weeks later. The king's third wife, Queen Manfomi Lamini Zulu, was announced as the regent queen. His majesty made it very clear that he wanted her majesty, Queen Shiwe Manfomi Lamini Zulu, to lead the Zulu nation until the time that his successor is named. The announcement in turn caused eruption amongst members of the family, as some senior royals refused to accept the queen as the regent. Queen Manfomi Lamini Zulu died a month later, leaving her eldest son as her preferred successor to the Amazulu throne, much to the displeasure of some family members. <laughs> There was drama and chaos on the night Prince Misuzulu was named heir to the throne. He had to be whisked away to safety. As the rifts amongst the royals grew, the king's first wife, Queen Sibongile Lamini Zulu, and her two daughters decided to approach the court. She wanted the court to assert her rights to 50% of the late king's estate, while Princess Ndanduengosi Zulu and Dombezosu to Zulu Doma challenged the validity of the signature on the king's will. The late king's brother, Prince Mbonisi, also entered the fray filing papers to prevent a secret coronation planned to install Misu Zulu. The Queen and Prince Mbonisi's applications were dismissed with cost. The court also ruled that King-elect Misu Zulu was the undisputed heir to the throne. Despite the court's ruling, some in the monarchy are vehemently opposed to this, and as the family and the Amazulu nation prepare to commemorate the King's death, there seems to be no end in sight in the royal feud. Simpiwa Makanya, SABC News, Durban.